In this video, let's talk about the sculpture and physical modeling synthesis in Logic Pro. This plugin generates sounds by simulating an acoustic instrument. To understand how the sound is created in this synthesizer, let's look at its structure. Like a real instrument, sculpture generates sound by using an object, such as a fingertip, to stimulate another object, such as a string. Then it's passing through two pickups to capture the sound and standard ADSR envelope with the wave shaper. The rest of the sound path is similar to additive or subtractive synthesis, so in this video let's focus on what I'll walk you through the process of creating a standard guitar sound. And the very first thing we should do is find the right material. I think a blend of nylon and steel would sound natural as a guitar string. Next, let's think about how the string behaves. We can bypass the sustain and leave decay and release only, and set the polyphony to six voices, or six strings. Now I have a realistic representation of a guitar, and it's time to think about how the instrument will be played. The objects are used to stimulate or otherwise affect the string in some way. First we can adjust the strength to hear it better. For this guitar sound, I would go for the strike object, which can simulate a guitar pick, and I can further manipulate the strike sound with timbre and variation values. The vibration of the string is captured by two movable pickups. I'm going to move them and see which position sounds better, or simply try to place them like on an electric guitar, close to each other on one side. Next I can find the right spot for the string strike. At this point the instrument sounds convincing, but still missing some extra character. And that's where we can add another object. On this object I'll select disturb mode, which can simulate how the string hits the frets. And I'm going to switch the gate to always, instead of being active only when we press the key. Next we just need to find the right spot. This sounds good, and I can move on and add the third object. Here I'll try using dump to imitate my palm on strings, to slightly mute them. Now we have a pretty accurate model of a guitar, so we can fine-tune the string properties. Lowering the resolution will remove all harmonics. Higher number requires more processing power, but creates natural vibration of the string. Media loss controls stiffness of the string, and its amplitude. You can set some detuning of the string with the tension parameter. Sculpture comes with a cue preset that can shape the sound even more. Let's activate it and try a couple of options. And if you want, you can adjust intensity of each preset to find the sweet spot. If you're familiar with LFOs, you can easily create some natural pitch variation by assigning modulation to the string or any other parameter. Now to explore other objects, I'll create woodwind sound, something flute-like sounding. First we can limit the polyphony to one sound, or simply switch to mono and activate sustain. Now I can select material, I think wood will work just fine. And as a first object, I'll be using blow. This sounds good, just need to reduce the attack. As a second object, let's try adding noise for natural air sound or a slight whistle.
This sounds accurate. Now I can add extra harmonics with the third object. Maybe adjust material too. Add some saturation with the wave shaper. And finally choose a fitting EQ profile. Sculpture is a great introduction into new wave synthesis. Try designing your own sounds and have fun.